over to our man, Mr. Basil Chapman, as we do each and every Tuesday. And don't forget, folks, Basil has an outstanding show here every trading day, 10 to 11 Eastern Standard Time. Also, it's a great newsletter. Now, it's very easy to get Basil's newsletter, folks. Come over to our website at TFNN. You can read the newsletters. You see the opening call right on the right-hand side. You just hit subscribe. And as you hit subscribe, whoa, where am I? Where'd that go? How did I do this? There we go. Sorry. <laughs> as I hit subscribe, you can get the daily newsletter for one month for $149. You can get it for six months for $6.95, which is a savings of $199 at 22%. And you get it for one year for $11.95, which is a savings of $593.33. Now, they all come, folks, with a 30-day money-back guarantee. Basil has about 12 archives out there, so you'll absolutely understand how to ride that wave each and every day. Basil Chapman, what's going on? Good afternoon, Tom. How are you? I'm doing great, man. Yourself? Pretty good. Thank you. Well, that, that raise, the, the wave's going down. <laughs> yeah, this is uh, very interesting. Well, you know what's interesting about the, the move that we've got today is that on Friday at about lunchtime, Eastern time, about noon, uh, we were about 400 points in the Dow, and then there was an extra 400 points. I didn't quite understand it, didn't complain because we were long, but that extra 400 points was really strange. And then Sunday night, there was a uh, um, little bit of weakness, and then there was strength. So Monday, there was a move. Uh, yesterday, was a move to a slightly higher high. And then today, we went to even higher high, 31,885. So where we are right now at 30,977, as long as I think we hold 30,900 to 30,800 on this particular pullback, and then by Friday, we're back at above the uh, 31,200 uh, level, I think we've at least survived the first selling that pressure that we, we, we've gotten after every big sharp uh, a dip to the downside for like the, on May the 20th, <clears throat> excuse me, when we went to 30,635 and then we ran up to 33,200 33, and then turned around. This one I find is a little different in that I am starting to see strength in areas that before did not participate. So in that sense, I'm looking at it on a purely technical level saying just in the work that I that I do, I like the low that was made with that doji candle uh, on the 17th at 29,653 in the Dow. I think the Dow uh, for, for a little while now has been the strongest of the indices, uh, only 30 stocks, but it's really an interesting mix because of that 30. It's really the Dow 30. They cannot call it the Dow Industrials anymore. I don't know why they do. It's just tradition, I guess, but they are not. It's really a, a real mix of American economy, insurance, bank, uh, You've got uh, um, uh, Boots, Walgreen. You got everything. You got um, you got the credit card companies. So it's a real mix. I, I do like it. So in that sense, because we got in very early, <clears throat> at the, almost at the low, um, we've got a bit of a cushion. So we've had some other trades that have done quite nicely. We've taken profits, and some of them we're still holding, uh, and it's a very interesting. You remember I spoke to you the, uh, last week. I said. We've actually gotten into IBM, and it's it's something I wasn't really expecting to do, but I've been following it for, for a, a while. Of course, we've all followed IBM for, for decades, but this is the first time that on its own, it's really holding very well. And what I said to you was, I think there are just there are a handful of stocks that were great winners at one point that were just terrible losers and that have morphed, they've changed their personality. They've, they've, for instance, IBM is now deeply involved in the cloud, uh, cloud enterprise software and AI. And I think that there's a difference and you can see it in the price. So we're, we're fortunate we got in at about uh, uh, 136, today it hit 144. That was a, 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 my first big target. And one of the reasons is I've been looking and talking about these in my show for, it must be a, over a year now, how many stocks have gone to double tops within pennies, sometimes within days, sometimes within weeks, sometimes even within years. If you look at some of the uh, multinational, <clears throat> excuse me, oil stocks, uh, some of them have gone back almost to the penny to where they were a couple of years ago. So this was at 144.73 on the 6th of June um, with a doji candle, pulls back. Uh, usually that's what I, I interpret as either a, a reversal candle or a continuation pattern. 
<clears throat> in this case, it was a reversal candle. We pulled back to 132, nicely above the 200 period moving average. Uh, the next day, we went long. And all of a sudden, you're looking at a double top potential of 144.15. But the technicals are actually still holding quite well. And it's only down a dollar uh, at 141.60 after hitting 144.15. And in a market like this today, I think that's not bad action. But if you look at this weekly chart, um, look at this beautiful cup formation going back even further to June of 2021, that 145.99. And look at this, we've just had two tests in the 144 area, and this is exactly a year later. It's right. just amazing how these patterns repeat. Look, beautiful cup pattern, and now we're testing, and in this case, the technicals are a little bit better. So I think if you're looking at individual stocks, this is a really good time, but in the generic sense, um, I, I think that the QQQ, I think it's trying to make some kind of a stand here. And it's going to be very important coming into Friday's close. Thursday, of course, is the end of the month. So between the end of the month and the beginning of the month and being the end of the week and the end of the going into the long weekend holiday, I think I still see enough strength in the Dow to start rallying a little bit further. So we're going one step at a time. And we've got individual stocks that are holding quite nicely. And you were talking about the dollar. And the dollar, which we've been long for subscribers since 2018, <clears throat> so it go all the way to just under 103 and then pull back to 89. He has another U-shaped pattern. But look at this in the monthly chart. Look how the dollar at this particular point with the two days, two and a half days to go is still above the 102.99 high in a monthly chart. So that's going to be important because if the dollar can hold above 103, in uh, June, and then all of July, it, it can do anything at once. But if it closes above 104 um, in July, that'll be my, my test is in the cup formation, two out of three bars need to be above the previous high. And that would be a good sign. So, Basil. yes, the dollar but, is acting very well. Basil, can you go back to the, that Dow, the Dow shots? Because it looks to me yeah, sure. uh, on your charts there that on the daily and the weekly, I mean, the Dow gave it up before it even got to your lines there, right? So, uh, well, this is a, a technique in my webinars. I talk about this technique. It's called, the, <coughs> excuse me, I don't know what's going on with my throat here. Um, this Chapel Wave Inside Wedge Target Resistance Line is a particular uh, place right, that I take it I'm talking about the top from. of the line, so see how it gave it up? Oh, right. Yes. So I wanted to say that this dash green line was the resistance line. It went right to it and was pulled back. But so far, it's holding the nine period exponential moving average. The MACD is turned positive. That means the histogram is positive and the stochastic is running. So I still, yes, I still see strength uh, just technically in the dollar, uh, in the in the Dow at this particular point. But uh, we'll see what happens. But I, uh, we're in a lower level, so we have some room at this point. But I think I'm calling it a buy mode, meaning that it should go to a C and a D. We'll okay. see what happens. Hey, folks, it's really easy to get Basil's newsletter. Come over to our website at TFNN. Go around the newsletters. You hit the opening call right on that right-hand side. Have a great one. It's safe. I'm Basil. Thank you, Dom. You too. Stay right there, folks. Come right back.